Okay, let's do our warm ups. Shoulders back and down, coming into mountain pose. Toes spreading out, not gripping. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Get that core support in your spine. So ribs towards your spine and up, lengthen through the crown. Take a moment, getting that yoga inner centering. Exhale any stress. And just inhale awareness. And then inhaling again more. Bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders still down. And then exhale the hands behind you. Just clasp the fingers, press them down. Lift your heart and stretch your spine. Spread your toes. And don't forget to breathe. Pivot at your hips, exhale on over. Just as deeply into that as you'd like. Move your chin, get the neck releasing, hands towards your head, get those shoulders working. And then bend your knees and work your way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back and upper body back bend. So sink evenly into your feet and just stretch through the whole body. Inhale to the top, release your arms, and just take that moment to notice how your body is responding today. And then again, we're reaching out, shoulders down, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift them one finger over. Lift your heart again and stretch into the back bend, feel that spine move. And then pivot over, exhaling and deepening. And again, only as far as you want to go. Lift your sitting bones, get those legs stretching a little bit. And again, bend your knees, chin slightly in, and work all the way up into the back bend one more time. Stretch through the top of your head, spreading your toes, get the whole body opening. And then inhale upright. Release your arms, and again, just notice your circulation improving. Side stretches next. Let's keep one arm down, the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, feel that lengthening. Stay facing forward as you lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, and the hand away. And you can look up slightly, but not forward. You don't want to be leaning to the front. So just feel the ribs opening. Inhale back upright, release that arm. And notice the difference as we get ready for the other side. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, get that lengthening. Stay facing forward as you lean to the other side. And again, maximize it with the foot down and the hand reaching away. Make sure you're not leaning forward and don't forget to breathe. And again, inhale upright and release. Shoulders back and down and back into mountain pose. Stretch your spine apart for our twist. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, press the elbows, and bring your arms back by your ears. Spread your toes. Stretch the sitting bones down and the base of the skull up. And turn into your twist. A breath. And then exhale over. Keep the weight on both feet if you can. Just relax in that twist forward bend. And then inhaling, work your way back up in the twist into that upper body for your back bend. Gentle on your low back while you're twisted, shoulders down, elbows back, chest high. Don't forget to breathe and lengthen. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, stretch everything apart, turn to the other side. The breath. And exhale over on that side. See if the weight's still on both feet as evenly as possible. And then slowly inhaling, work up into that upper body for your back. Again, shoulders down, elbows back, and chest up. 
Stretch out through your spine. Inhale up, exhale around to the center. Arms up into your extended mountain. Stretch it out. Come up on one side, up on the opposite toes, lifting that heel, the other side, foot stays flat. Feel those ribs open. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one up. And again, just maximize that lengthening along your side. And then both arms up, stretch high, but pull your shoulders, shoulder blades and sitting bones down. And then pivot with your arms by your ears into that halfway forward position. And then drop it around, dog, just hanging. And relax, arms just hanging wherever they go. Pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs, like a good stretch on your back. And then hands back to the center, shoulders relaxed, and again, wind all the way up and into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, feel what's going on through your spine. Spread your toes, no gripping with them. Bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Again, extended mountain. Shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones down, crown reaching up toward your hands. And then bending your knees toward, not beyond your toes, we'll go into our chair squat. So push the sitting bones behind you. Keep your spine as straight as you can, arms by your ears, and just deepen into that squat as much as your knees want to do. Remember, don't overwork any parts of your body. Feel what's working. Get the weight even into both feet. Stretch out through your head and hands, but back with your shoulder blades and sitting bones. Take a breath, leave with your hands coming back up, arms out and back down. Circle those shoulders around and spread your toes on your favorite balance foot. We'll do our little balance warm up. So lift the toes, no gripping. Get that ankle, knee, hip and shoulder lined up. Get that core activated, supporting your spine. Spread the toes out, don't press them down. Reach up through your head as you bring the other foot up. Remember, don't cross it over, so turn in at the top of the thigh to help that. And then when you're stable, work your ankle around so that we don't get to be old ladies with tight ankles. Flex in point and release. Spread out on that other side. Take what worked and improve the rest. So remember, you want the base of the toes and heel evenly supporting it. Core actively supporting your spine, shoulders relaxing down. Bring the other foot up when you're ready. And again, as far up as you'd like. When you're ready and stable there, again, you can work your ankle. Take a breath, work it out. And again, flex some point before you put your foot back down. Take a moment as you get into your mountain pose again, just feeling your spine stretching open, shoulders back and down, and let's do our pelvic tilt. So angle your toes out slightly, bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes, hands above your knees, remember position don't support, so no pressure in your knees. And as always, start with that nice stretch out spine, and then drop into the into the back bend, ribs forward and sitting bones reaching away. So get as much into that backward bend along your whole length of your spine. Tuck the sitting bones down and forward as you pull the ribs back and look down, a nice forward bend. And feel that stretch along the whole back of your body. Inhale into the back bend lengthening and breathing. Don't push the chin too far forward, keep stretching your neck. Exhale, tilt down and forward. And again, feel the core ribs in and inhale again, back down. Keep the shoulders over the toes, spread out those toes, no gripping. Exhale once more, rounding and inhale back up into mountain pose. 
Take a moment and breathe as you get back there. Exhaling any stress or tension. Step wider. Turn your toes slightly out. And we're going to keep the steady bones going straight to the floor, the spine straight up, crown toward the ceiling. And your knees toward not beyond your toes and just sink straight down into a little squat. It's a horse position, as if you're riding that horse. Push your heels down, push your sitting bones down, keep your crown high, keep your spine straight. And then come on back up, legs straight. Inhale your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands crossing over and coming back down. So we'll put that together. So as you inhale and bring your arms out, exhale and squat, arms coming up overhead and bring your arms down, standing straight back up. So imagine you're the, on that horse galloping along, just riding along, breathing as you squat and stand. And make sure you're crossing the hands the opposite direction each time you come down. So just a gentle little squat. And stretch out through your shoulders. And one more time. And back up. And again, coming back into mountain pose. Just feel a little bit more stimulated through your whole body. And then turn your hands so the backs of your hands are along your sides. Bring the hands all the way up. Turn the palms toward each other as you extend into mountain pose. Hands coming out, around, and down. And again, backs of the hands toward you. Inhale all the way up. Turn the palms toward each other. Shoulders still down. Hands, palms out as you circle around and down. One more time. Hands coming out, up. Palms out. Exhaling around and down. And again, shoulders back and down a couple of times, just feeling what's going on all the way through your back and shoulders. Take a moment to breathe as you bring your hands to your heart. Sink evenly into your feet. Inhale, follow the hands toward the ceiling and into that back bend, lifting your heart, pulling those thumbs as far back as you'd like to go. Swan dive forward, arms out, palms toward the floor, pivoting at your hips, stretch it out, drop into rag dog. Hands up under your knees, on your shins, halfway up, stretch, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Exhale, dropping into ragdoll. Palms together, inhaling, and again, into the back bend as you lift your hands and pull them back. Chest high, lift out of that lower back. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, and again, into ragdoll. Hands up under your knees, straighten and stretch. And let's go to the floor into child's pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Take a breath, just relaxing. Stretch the back of your body. Inhale and sit up. And let's come into, oh, let's come into a cross-legged position. So sitting bones behind you, crown toward the ceiling. And of course, we're creatures of habit, so switch the legs around and do your non-habitual cross. So take a moment there, cup your hands around your knees, bring your ribs back, tuck your chin just slightly and bring your forehead down toward the floor. And then roll over toward one knee side of your body stretching as you bring your head to the side lift your heart as you pull your head around to the back and again over to the other side feel those ribs open on that opposite side exhaling and circling back to the center do the same circle again all the way around feel your whole rib area opening as you go to the back and coming to the front 
One more circle that way. Breathing with it, inhaling to the back, exhaling to the front, and pausing as you get back to the center. And we'll reverse. So going to the opposite side, feel your whole side opening, feel your heart lifting, the side on the other direction, and to the front as you exhale. And again, inhaling around to the back, really opening that chest at the back and circling back to the center. And one more time, going that same circuit. And this time as you come to the front, just pause and inhale, sitting back up. Take a moment there, feeling that midsection a little bit more stimulated and stretched. And switch your legs around, going into that opposite cross so that we even things out. Take a moment there, just breathing, lengthening, shoulders back and down, feel your chest open, and sink evenly into your sitting bones. Take a moment to relax the shoulders down. Bring the arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and stretch up. Pivot at your hips and reach your arms next to your ears all the way to the front, face down toward the floor. Stretch it out. And again, reaching out through the fingertips, but down with your shoulder blades. Sit back up, palms out, and down to your sides. Take a moment and breathe. Bring your chin into that throat center indentation. Relax your shoulders down, feel the stretch on the back of your neck. Bring one hand up and then the other, no pressure, just a little extra weight stretching the back of your neck. Take a breath, keep that core active, supporting your lower back. Stretch out through the base of the skull. That whole rest of your spine is nice and straight as you stretch the back of your neck. Take a breath. As you exhale, just deep and maybe a little further. And then releasing your hands back to your sides, tip your head back upright. Chin lifting, stretch the front of your throat, shoulders, shoulder blades down, core still supporting your spine. Remember that base of your skull stretches away and sink evenly into your sitting bones. Move your jaw around, stretch the front of your throat. And inhale back upright. Switch your legs around again, just because we like to balance things out in that lower body. And we're going to tip an ear over toward one shoulder. Remember, both shoulders stay back and down. As you just tip gently to the one side and feel the stretch on the opposite side. The side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up again. No pressure, just a little weight on the side of your head giving that stretch just a little bit more oomph. And you can put your hand down on the floor or fingertips down if you want just a little bit more or not if you already have plenty of stretch. Remember, personal practice, especially around that neck area, breathing and relaxing into it, letting the stretch maximize or minimize for your needs today. Take a breath. Again, just exhale intention. And release that hand, tip the head back upright, and switch the legs around again, and we'll go the other direction. So once again, just allow the ear to tip over toward the shoulder. Keep both shoulders down. Keep the whole body stretching straight up through the base of the skull always. And bring your hand just to add weight, not pressure, to the side of your head. Take a breath, stay there, or again, you can push the other hand down for a little extra stretch if you love it. Keep breathing. The more you exhale, the more things will deepen and stretch just gently, doing what's right for your body today. Exhale and relax, and releasing your hands. Tip your head back upright. Take a moment and breathe, feeling what's going on for you. 
And one more reversal with those legs so that we can do our twist for backing out of the driveway. So again, body stays straight, shoulders stay straight facing the front, spine stretches open, but especially through the neck. And then just turn your chin, not your whole spine, and get that neck twist into one side, looking back as much behind you as you can. Round toward the ceiling, exhaling and deepening as much as you like. Again, breathing in, stretching up, exhale back to the center and turning to the other side. And again, just lengthening and breathing, keeping those shoulders down and turning only the chin to the side. Exhale, any stress or tension deepening as far as your body wants to go, never overdoing. And again, back to the center. Take a moment and breathe, relax your shoulders and switch the legs one more time, coming into that cross leg position, however feels right for you. Sitting bones slightly behind you and bring the chin into that throat center indentation. Roll your chin to one shoulder, lift it toward the ceiling, looking up, roll to the back, chin straight up, over to the other side, look down toward that shoulder, and roll your chin back to the center. Same circuit, over to the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, looking overhead to the other side, back looking at your shoulder, and down. One more circle, feeling that whole neck area, getting a good rotation, and coming back to the center. And then going the other way, rolling the chin to the shoulder, to the ceiling, to the middle, looking up over to the other side, looking down, back to the center. Roll that circle just gently and slowly, feeling your whole neck area, getting a nice round workout through that full circuit. And one more last time, over to the side, up toward the ceiling, into the middle, to the other side, down, and back to your chest. And again, lengthening up, check that that spine is still nice and straight. And then look at your legs, see whichever one is in front or on top, and take the opposite hand to that knee, arm out at shoulder level, shoulder blades down, and sitting bones slightly down, lift the crown toward the ceiling. Exhale, follow your hand around into a twist. Bring that hand close to your body on the floor. Lift up through the crown. This back hip will turn as you go hips, ribs, and shoulder deeper into your twist. So both sitting bones aren't as planted. You want that back one moving around so that whole lower back can move as well as the rest of your spine. Take a breath, exhaling and deepening as far as your body likes to twist. And then reaching up through the crown, bring your hand to shoulder level behind you and follow it back to the center. Feel the twist energy moving through you, balancing and energizing as you switch your legs so we can twist to the opposite side. Again, hand to the opposite knee, other arm out at shoulder level, shoulders down, spine stretching apart, exhale and twist. And again, bring that hand close to your body on the floor behind you, stretch up, lift that back hip, sitting bone area so that your hips, ribs, and shoulder, not just your neck, turning into that twist. And again, feel your whole spine move, keep breathing into it. Exhaling and deepening. And then again, bringing your arm up to shoulder level, follow it to the center, feeling that twist energy moving, surging through your spine. Lift your knees, you bring your feet to the end of the mat into staff position. Activate your core for that slow roll down from into your back. As you get all the way to the floor, take a moment and breathe. 
Sitting bones slightly toward your heels. Bring your heels in next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor. And then press your back down, lift your feet up off the floor, and bring your big toes into your fingers. Push your elbows into your knees and separate your feet with the bottoms of your feet up toward the ceiling, coming into happy baby pose. So feel those hips, let them sink down toward the floor, those knees down toward the floor, as those feet press up, heels toward the ceiling, bottoms of the feet straight up. And then just roll gently one side to the other if you think that that will feel good on your back, just like a happy baby might be doing. Rolling and massaging that lower back. Feel your whole spine moving, doing only what feels right for you. And then stop back in the middle, release your toes and your knees down, feet to the floor, slide your legs out, turn your hands, palms up, shoulders down, toes together, and then just relax into corpse position for a relaxation. Soften your belly, move your chin and jaw side to side, head rolling. Find that comfortable position with your head and just relax. Shoulders down, and the shoulders and shoulder blades sink into that surface beneath you. Let your legs relax completely. Soften your belly and just let your body grow heavy as you exhale and deepen into that earthbound connection. Deep. Exhale any tightness. And just feel your body soften and sink. Relaxing completely. All the muscles just releasing. Soften your face and your jaw. Breathe deep. And again, just exhale deeper into that earth support. As your body relaxes, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness, letting it relax all on its own. And as those thoughts of your body release from your mind, just let other thoughts come into your mind release as well. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No need to focus on the past or anticipate the future. Let everything just release and relax. Softening your body, loading your awareness, and allowing your attention just to turn into that peace deep within. Focus on the peace and let it fill your mind, fill your body. And just take a few moments breathing, being peace. Stay relaxing as long as you have time. Releasing and releasing any tightness filling your body. If it's time to activate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Breathing more fully, stretching more completely whenever you're ready for your 
Final yoga hug of appreciation. Bring your sitting bones towards your heels. Send your heels towards your hips. Draw your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself the Lakisha did yoga pose. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, and roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.